Hello everyone and welcome back to AP Human Geography. This is Mr. Elrod. We're still in Unit 1 talking about geography, its nature, and perspectives. Now this time we're just going to talk about a very brief topic. This is one of the five themes of geography. This is what's called a human environment interaction. Uh, another phrase or term for us was called cultural ecology. So basically when we look at cultural ecology or human environment interaction uh, we're looking at one of two things. Number one, you can see there on the screen, it says, how do humans affect the environment? Now, this is something that we're probably very familiar with, that we think about the ways that humans are going to impact the environment. So take the natural resources uh, and use them uh, as they see fit, and this can be obviously done in a number of ways. You can do things like dam rivers uh, to collect uh, water or to use for hydroelectricity, or you can... Uh, you can log trees uh, for use either for energy or you can use it for building homes or things along those lines. Uh, of course, you can extract minerals from the earth. Um, but you can also look at it from a perspective of how are humans going to affect the environment in terms of uh, the either ecosystem. So maybe destruction of habitats. Um, Maybe it is pollution, which of course we hear a lot about pollution in the news and things along those lines. And there are going to be a lot of things that that, if, that impact the way that humans affect the environment. So it could be uh, the technology that they have and their ability to impact the environment, whether it's uh, factories or earth movers or uh, you know even more efficient forms of energy production so you're not polluting as much. Or it could be um, something along the lines of the way that people see the environment in certain religions. Uh, the environment is seen as something spiritual, and so they're not going. They're going to interact with the environment in a in a different kind of way. Uh, then we could also look at it from the perspective: of How does the environment affect or impact humans? So, uh, how is the environment going to uh, affect the way uh, or affect the types of decisions that humans make? Uh, you know, especially if you look in more traditional cultures, especially where places there's less technology, less uh, affluence, and less money, uh, this is going to have a much greater impact because uh, it's uh, the the uh, especially the climate is going to play a much greater role uh, in whether it be the clothing that people wear, or the type of housing that they live in, or the crops that they eat, uh, or you know, things along those lines. Now, one of the things that we've seen as we move forward with time is that due to the increase of wealth and the increase of technology uh, we've actually seen especially in western nations uh, and, and now that technology and, and really capital and wealth is spreading across and technology is spreading across the world uh, you see the environment really impacting people less and less in terms of the type of lifestyle that they're going to live uh, places that used to be very marginal in terms of where people could live uh, now we have very large cities. If you look at Phoenix, Arizona, it's one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Uh, it used to be in an area where it was difficult to inhabit because of how, inhabit because of how dry it was. Uh, but now with new innovations, things like air conditioning, things like um, indoor refrigerant, uh, refrigeration systems so to, to preserve food and things along those lines, uh, water and indoor plumbing uh, that are going to bring water out to people. Uh, those things are going to allow for those people to, to live in those places and even places that are colder uh, with indoor heating, uh, new uh, systems of food preservation, people able to go to grocery stores and not just have to live off the things that are readily available. So as societies progress, as wealth becomes more abundant, um, you're not going to see as great of an impact in terms of those types of decisions where uh, the people are going to make. Now, uh, we still see the environment affecting humans even in, in, um, even in more developed societies. We saw Hurricane Katrina come through and, and devastate uh, the city of New Orleans. We saw Hurricane Sandy come through and devastate the East Coast, New Jersey, New York, so forth and so on. Um, but wealthier societies are able to are able to um, really either rebuild or are able to uh, to make decisions that are going to be maybe on on the edge of uh, on the edge of where. Uh, the environment could definitely impact them. And you, even still, I, I think I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos, even if you go to coastal areas, now you'll see things taken into consideration, uh, houses built on stilts, so that uh, so that the waters that are coming in, maybe there's a hurricane, something like that, then the, it's not going to flood the house. If you go out to San Francisco, uh, there are special forms of infrastructure for the buildings that are going to keep them from collapsing uh, due to the earthquakes and things like that. 
Uh, so anyway, cultural ecology is, is a way to view uh, human geography and looking at the different people uh, across the world and looking at how do they interact with the environment. And again, you can look at it from two ways. How are humans affecting the environment? What impact are the humans having on the environment? And then what impact is the environment having on the humans? Um, so you can look at that from one of two perspectives. Okay, So that's going to be all for cultural ecology. Uh, next, we'll be moving on to uh, the different types of regions and ways that we classify uh, different areas of land.